meeting of the Mon Valley Student Authority is now in session. Please rise for the meeting. Rise for the meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes. Roll call. Mr. Thompson. Here. Ms. Farmer. Here. Ms. Tucker. Here. Ms. Maricini. Here. Also present, Sean Gaskell. Jason McBride is on the telephone. And the Valley Independent is here. No calls for public participation. No, no phone calls. No, no phone calls. Okay. We'll go to the minutes. Has everybody had a chance to read the minutes? If there are no corrections or additions, I'd like a motion to approve the minutes of the meeting of April 13th. I'll second. We need a motion first. I thought you need a motion. No, I need a motion. Oh. I need a motion. Motion second. by Mr. Thompson. Second. Second by Ms. Farmer. Roll call. Tommy. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Farmer. Here. Ms. Tucker. Aye. Mr. Marasini, aye. Okay, has everybody had a chance to review the treasurer's report and the bills? Yeah, she needs that envelope. while Ms. Tucker and Ms. Farmer review those bills. That's okay with everybody? Correspondence, Sean? Correspondence, seven of them. <clears throat> Notice received on April 22nd, 2020, regarding the Consumer Price Index Cost Adjustment. That was the Center Grove uh, sludge land of line. Uh -huh. It went up 2.56% from last year. 2.56, so it went from 38.76 a wet ton to 39 dollars 75 cents a wet ton. Okay. Number two is a letter received on April 27, 2020, from the Westmoreland Sanitary Landfill regarding uh, leachate being uh, disposed to us. What did, they, what did they say on that? It was basically just that it was just entertaining. If we was, was interested in taking it again, you should have a copy of the letter. It's not obviously a copy. Yeah. You remember yeah. they asked remember us. Remember when they come, they, was, they, they, was supposed, they were supposed to come and put this facility in? And yes. That's the first thing you asked them, is their facility. We're not aware of any progress that they made. No. Right, they don't need to hear from them. So, that's number three. A response letter to Westmoreland Sanitary Landfill sent on May 6th saying that we are not going to entertain them at this time. Okay. You're right, correct. Good, good. Number four is the Gaspy, the Governmental Accounting Standards Board. A report received May 6th from Mike Pelusi of the Phoenix Benefit Group. Five, on March 31st, 2020. Portfolio appraisal received on May 6th from Jason Pepe, from the Portfolio Manager slash Senior Vice President of Sterling Advisors. Question. Uh, yes. First on number four, uh, when you consider that report that received, negative, good, positive, what? It was good. Benefit group ain't on top of it? No. I will make a copy of them and have them in your mailbox. Okay. Well, uh, I don't come in to get mine out of my mailbox. 
Can you give that to me, Sean? I can. I will. Thank you. And the uh, number five, was, was that report appraisal? From the advisors, very really good, bad, good. I believe that one was good also. I will mail you all of them. Okay, thank you. And uh, you getting ready to do number six? Yes, that's where I'm at, number six. Notice you see on May 6, 2020, of a selective insurance notifying policyholders of a 15% credit for April and May. And why is that? I'm thinking it's due to. If you know. Probably because of this virus. Because of this kind of, but yeah, this is all this. Oh, okay. I think, I think a lot of insurance companies are uh, giving. You just costs. find that out just to make sure. Yep, we'll do. Yep. Okay, and the uh, number seven. Thank you email received from Mark Lockwood, President of Utility Workers Union Local 487, expressing appreciation for the safety plans implemented throughout the COVID-19 situation with their employees. Everybody should get the panel back to this. Thank you. Well, we all made those decisions, so. Yeah. That's all I have for correspondence. Okay. Is there and made them review the bills. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He said if anybody could finish the bills, and I said if you were actually no, going to get that no. right now. Okay. No matter the report for this month, Mr. Say, let's continue with one next month. Okay, our solicitor is unavailable. But there's still two issues to that think that can we talk about them? Yes. Two minutes. What do you mean? Can you tell us what's going on with that? So the bill payments for checks for the 39 customers not processed are 214 to 20. So the checks were put into the MuniLink system and showed. But the checks were never run through the bank machine which deposits the checks. So after two weeks of our checks being on file, they automatically get shredded every two weeks. So customers started calling and asking questions, why wasn't my check cashed yet? Why wasn't my check cashed yet? And Mr. Sadak was not he started looking into it. And the checks ended up being shredded without being put through the machine physically. So all 39 customers have been contacted. All 39 customers are issuing payments. Have they issued them yet? I don't, I can't know that number, but all 39 have been contacted, and all of them were very understanding of what happened. And I know that's not something I can How can we make sure that don't happen again? How can we? Uh, that's just going to have to be a double, triple check though. Yes, I'm going to ask you a question about that. Was that our fault, or was it the bank's fault, or was it the, the new setup we had? The checks were just not put through the deposit machine from a former employee. From the people that takes care of our billing. Now. Yes. They got to get on the ball here. Well, anybody can make a mistake. Anybody can make a mistake. There's yeah. always mistakes going to be made. There's a lot that goes on in that office. If and there's something we can do. And now it's time. It's a learning experience, and we move forward from it, and we correct it. If there's a way that maybe we can that do we something. we need to double, triple check. check. I'm very excited. They're in that business. They got to really work. It'll, it'll be in place. Don't like no one mess with their money. Right. Like I said, they, they were all very understanding. Okay. No, okay. no, no irate customers over or anything. Yeah, just maybe check in to see if, yep. you can, if there's a double and triple check. So then the other thing underneath the solicitor's report was uh, there was a customer that was never entered into the billing system after signing up on May of 2019. And the man signed up, signed up for ACH. The folder got put in the drawer. They never got put into the building system. Billing system. So 
Thompson? I'll second it. Second by Ms. Farmer. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Maracini? Yes. Okay, Jason, we're ready for you, please. Still there? You there, Jason? I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm ready for you. Speak loud, please. Jason, speak up a little bit, please. That's the change order, or that's different? That's, no, this is not the change order. I'll do that next. This okay. Is the pay application itself. All right. Need a motion for pay application number four? Yep. The SET Incorporated. I make the motion. Motion by Mr. Thompson. I'll second it. Second by Mr. Marasini. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Farmer. Yes. Ms. Tucker. Yes. Mr. Marasini, yes. Continue, Jace. The next thing I have is the change order. Uh, this is change order number one. It is an increase to the contract value in the amount of $4,186. This will actually be a, what's called a final quantity adjustment change order when we complete this, and you'll receive a credit for $6,500 work for a sewer work was not done. So the chose value of the contract will actually end up being less than what was bid. But this is a this is an increase um, and then it'll be offset by a decrease later on. I just want to make the board aware of that. Okay. So, do you have a question? And this is this is an in, increase but it's gonna be offset at yes. the closing of the contract. Okay. All right. 
the, the work that was not done did not need to be done? Excuse me? He said that there was work that wasn't completed. I... Jace, can you hear him? Okay. Then, then later on, when we close out the contract, we then would close part of the adjusted change order. That would be a feedback for work that was not done. Okay. So what I'm just telling the board is that the total price of the contract will still end up being about two thousand dollars, twenty four hundred dollars less than the bid price. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. I need a motion to approve the change order number one for SET Incorporated. I'm making a motion that the change will order. Set Motion by Ms. Tucker. I'll second it. Mr. Thompson. We have a motion in a second. I need your vote. Yeah. Uh, yes, Ms. Farmer. Ms. Tucker. Uh -huh. Ms. Barracine. Yes. Keep going, Jace. It's a, uh, a motion to approve the certificate of completion that the job is done. At where? Where was the? That's the pump station job, correct? Correct. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, I don't know yet. This is for the Nora Pump Station Training Improvement Project. All, all three of these items are for that project. Can I have a motion for that, please? I make the motion. Motion by Mr. Thompson. One second. Is that you? Was that you? Mr. Second by Mr. <laughs> Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Farmer. Yes. Ms. Tucker. And yes. Mr. Mercy. Mr. Mercy. Yes. All right. Anything else? Okay, I need a motion to pay that bill. I make the motion. Motion by Mr. Thompson. No, second. Second by Ms. Farmer. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Farmer. Yes. Yeah. Ms. Tucker. Yes. Yeah. Maricini. Yes. You're still on, Jason. Yes. I need a motion to approve resolution number four, 2020, for the 2018 construction fund requisition number 18, in the amount of $27,170. Yes. Yes. Do I have that motion? I just motioned it. Oh, you did? You Sorry. Did. Motion by Ms. Tucker. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Farmer. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Farmer. Yes. Ms. Tucker. Yes. Ms. Maricini. Yes. Okay. Is that it, Jace? That's all I have, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, Jace. All right, do we have any old business? All right, new business. Everybody see this engagement letter from uh, Palermo and Kissinger for the 2019 audit. 
Uh, I didn't bring, I just want to state this, I'm not going to bring it up now, because the old business, I would rather wait until Tom's here too, and Aaron's here, okay? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, new business. We got it. Question on that right now. Go ahead. Why are we changing all of a sudden? We're not actually changing. Never change. Well, go ahead, you want to explain? Delphi does, helps prepare our books. So she is physically not allowed to do the audit. So they, that company does the final audit. It's always been out. It's been out. What's that woman's name? Carolyn. 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 Carolyn, yes. What does she do the audit? She prepares everything. She helps with, she comes in and helps with everything. And then this company does the final audit. It's always been out. They're not allowed to, like, audit they're themselves. Allowed. They're not allowed to do the final audit. Well, why did she come in? And give the statement for the audit. It should be she the prepares, other. She prepares it. The other company should come in and give it then. She's so, not allowed. No, I'm oh, talking yeah. about. Remember when she came? She did come in. Yes. Well, why doesn't the other company come and present it to us? I can't answer that. I don't know. Oh, they need to. They're the ones doing the audit. You know, it's a good statement, and then it's full. We'll we look into that. We'll research it. Absolutely. Right. If they're doing the audit, that's who, right? Yeah. All right. That's, good. that's I mean, a good point. Let's yeah. look into that. Yeah, we should have them do it. Come okay. talk to us. Because they're the ones that are actually doing that's the right. audit. Mm -hmm. Correct. I'm not trying to create any waves, but you're the one doing it. You should come back and tell us about it. Uh, are we going to approve them doing it? I would like to. If, you, if they're going to be the ones, ask them are they going to be the ones to come and present that to us. I would think they would have to if we asked them. Yes. I asked them though. I don't want them to say it wasn't stated because if you give them a contract and it's not in there, then we can't, we can't make them come. As long as it Is goes this? in our letter back to them. Yeah. Is this time? I think it's time sensitive. That's what I was going to see if it's... Okay, we can approve it with the stipulation. Approve it with the stipulation that they present us. They will come back with the results of the audit the board. themselves. Okay. okay. Can I have them? All right. We're going to have a motion to approve the engagement letter from Palermo Kissinger for the 2019 audit with the provision that they give us their report. Yes, yes. All right, can I have a motion to that effect, please? Um, okay. Motion. Motion by Ms. Farmer. I'll second it. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Maricini? Yes. Uh, second on the new business is approval of the Carroll Township bill for 2019. Is this what they owe us or we owe them? That's what they owe us. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I said, do we, uh, I said, do we owe them the this money or do the they owe us? She the said, the she said they owe us. So the uh, last, the, the figure I see on here is 99334 They owe us? That's their bill, yes. That's their bill. Like they owe us. And I need a motion to approve the bill from Carroll Township for 2019. How often does that go out? Once a year. Once a year. Correct. And we make that bill, correct? Correct. Okay, I'm sorry. Based off, based off their flows and the percentage of the formula. But it's once a year. Of what they, say, of what they discharge to us. Okay. We have a contract, I assume, that covers that's what I thought. Okay. Okay, okay, the motion you mentioned was, that we accept this annual cost from uh, Pearl Township Authority uh, 
for the year of uh, 2018 to 2019, and I think it's the month of, well, let's say 2018, December to uh, 2019, November. Motion by Ms. Tucker to approve the Carroll Township bill for the year of 2019. Second. Second by Ms. Farmer. Ms. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Farmer. Yes. Yeah. Ms. Tucker. Yes. Mr. Maricini. Yes. Okay, any other new business? Well, I, I have some, but I think I'll bring it up next when everybody's here. It's not something that has to be addressed tonight. I'd rather have Mr. Bylaw and Mr. Burden up in Okay, Mr. Yeah. Just a quick update on what we're doing. Uh, so today we moved the guys to eight hours a day from six. We're still going to keep them separated week on, week off. Uh, but they're eight hours. They're eight hours now. Starting today is the first day it started. Uh, see what Mr. Wolf, Governor Wolf has to say here in the next few weeks. End of the month, we'll play by ear again. And, uh, and see where we're at. That's where we're at with the. With the I, su I suggested that we still not take in in person payments until we hit the green level, just to keep our people safe and to keep our our so customers safe. Until we hit the level, no, my, my thing is, even if he opens it up, I think we need to keep our mask on for a while. Until we see, I think that's going to be mandatory. Yeah, yeah, that's still going to stay. Until we see if it fluctuates, the count might go back up again. We don't know that. Yeah, we don't know. Right, right. Okay, but are we all right with as of now? Um, working the public out of the office. Working from six to eight, bring the guys back eight hours, yeah. week on week off, and keeping. We don't want people coming paying in person. And everything's been smooth for this whole thing with me. You know what I mean? It's too early. I yeah, think we should leave it on. Yeah. That's okay for them working eight hours. Yeah. But I still think people don't need to come in. Exactly. Exactly. Correct. Uh, yep. correct. Yeah. That's correct. Right. Until that's we get further instructions from the governor or whoever. That's where we'll stand. We'll just leave it. I mean, this way it is. They're making a move, but there's still the count of people who are. Testing right, positive. exactly. Right. Exactly. Even though right now the level of people who are testing not positive is up higher, but still it's still they're testing positive. And you just don't know who's positive. All right, any other business before the board? Can I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. A motion by Mr. Thompson. Real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Second by Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Yes. The car. I think I got Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.